In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate p-values using the normal distribution and using stat key rather than a standard normal table. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to go under this theoretical distributions tab and select the normal distribution, and we'll leave it set on the standard normal distribution, which we know has mean zero and standard deviation one. Now to ground this in what we've talked about in class, or will talk about in class, Let's go over examples three and four uh, for normal based hypothesis tests that we went over at the chapter five handout. And for the first example, or example three, we're talking about a study where we learned 67 percent of women in a random sample view divorce as morally acceptable, and they're trying to determine whether or not this provides evidence that more than 60 percent of women view divorce as morally acceptable. Now we've been able to set up our hypotheses and calculate a test statistic. So we have a Z value of 3.33 and now we want to convert that to a P value. Well if we look at our alternative hypothesis what that's saying is that the proportion of women that view divorce as morally acceptable is greater than 60 percent or 0.6 when we're talking about proportions. So we have an upper tail or right tail P value. So if we select right tail in stack key then what we have to do is go down here to the horizontal axis and change the value of this statistic. So this is our test statistic right here. This is where we need to enter in our Z value and for us that will be 3.33. Now we hit enter and it'll show us our P value which is 0 .00043. So we would have very strong evidence that uh, the proportion of women that view divorce as morally acceptable is not 60% and in fact is greater than 60% or 0.6. So now let's go to our second example. So I'm going to reset the plot and our second example is comparing the proportion of men and women that view divorce as morally acceptable. A random sample found that 71% of men view divorce as morally acceptable while we have the 67% of women viewing divorce as morally acceptable from our previous example and we compare and we just want to determine whether or not those proportions are statistically different are significantly different than one another so we have a two-tailed or two-sided alternative hypothesis here If we calculate our test statistic we get approximately 1.38 so what we'll do is we'll hit two-tail here and then we'll go again change our cutoff to 1.38 and what this is going to do is really visualize the p-value for you. So the p-value is both of these shaded regions right now, and both of these shaded regions have area of 0 0.084. So that means you can calculate the p-value by multiplying 0 0.084 by 2. So we get a p-value of 0.168, which is greater than any reasonable significance level. Therefore, we would fail to reject, and we would not find significant evidence of a difference in those viewpoints between men and women.